Hello, and welcome to Teslagrad. This is the new series that I'll be doing, and it is quite fun. It's got a wonderful art style that you can sort of see down at the bottom, and it is set in this massive castle, which we will be exploring using the powers of you'll never guess who. So let's jump right in and start in an empty slot. Okay. Here, take this baby. I don't need him anymore. Okay. Several days. Seasons. An undetermined amount of time later. Angry men in red jackets. Soviets! Alright. Let's get going. This is us. So we've aged slightly. And we're just sort of gonna see how it goes. Try not to get caught by... The uh, Soviets are presumably hunting us. Alright, pretty solid so far, except that uh, things are breaking. Yeah. Nice little uh, jumping abilities, boy. Whoa, alright. Uh, we don't want to actually jump on him. That would be a bad idea. We want to go here. No, we don't. We want to go up. Alright, well, we tried. It didn't quite work. That is a giant gold statue. Holy shit, that guy must be rich to afford that. Or just really popular. Judging by the crown, probably just rich. Alrighty, right. Let's keep going. Okay. Ah, okay, cool, that worked. I wasn't sure if it would, to be honest. But we got lucky. Okay, oh, no, never mind. Alright, we just gotta fucking sprint for it. I don't know why these guys are chasing us, even. Like, really. I mean, I guess we were dropped off by a guy in blue, but I don't know why that means uh, you gotta hate on us, man. I guess, you know, reds versus blues, that's kind of a common theme. Racism, xenophobia, yeah, all nice positive uh, lessons. That is a guy. No, he got us. Shit, we went the wrong way. Can't go in there, so let's try climbing this again. I'm having a little bit of trouble with the platforming right now because I forgot to switch my keyboard over. I normally use an alternate keyboard. And so my movement keys are really fucking weird. It's like W-A-D-G is to move instead of W-A-S-D. Which, it could be worse if I was using Dvorak or something, but this is still not not the greatest. Oh jeez! Guy with a beard! That means he's serious. Alright, we gotta get away from these guys. Hmm. Ooh. That's fancy. Alright, jump the gate, let's go. Don't want me in here, I don't care. Neat statues though. Very fancy, very glowy. Very roughly drawn, to be honest. Um, Alright, well there's that guy. Up there at the top. 
And there, that is a, uh, a drill. Okay, and corpse. Nice! Okay, good start. Um, and something I can't read. Alright, so the stabbings, and the... Touch the thing, and you... Glow. Stand on the thing, and you float. Okay. And there you go. Touch the thing, and you glow. Stand on the thing, and you float. And touch the electricity, you die. Which means we don't want to touch him, because that would throw us into the electricity. Which is, uh, presumably, at least, bad. Now this is interesting, you may have noticed that that one was red. Hello, that's a bug. And the red ones will, I guess it makes sense, turn things red. Hmm. Alright. So now we can punch things, and it has the same effect. If we turn it red, they'll stick together, and if we turn it blue, they'll fly apart. And same here. So if we look down and turn it blue... Oh no, sorry, if we look down and turn it red, because... Uh... Opposites attract, yep, that's how magnetics works. Glad I remembered, to be honest. Okay, and now we have our first card. Tab. And... here we go. These are the cards that we have. Yeah, just that one. They tell a story. Uh, not really enough to know it yet. So we'll get back to that. And this is the map. Uh, which is, uh, pretty useful. It's a little bit bigger than that, but we haven't explored it yet. And, alright, froze a little bit, cool. So now, we have to turn these blue and these red, so they get pulled up. And we can do that, just, just because. Alright. Now this, if we check the map again, is a big tower. But nothing to do but go down so far. Can't go left. Fly. Can go right. Alright, so we want that to be red to attract. And we want to climb up here. And turn this red as well to push that down. Okay. I'm just kind of screwing around, running through these puzzles. Um. I love the art on those little guys. Like, it, it just looks kind of weird. And, I don't know, that's neat. Weird things are neat and I like them. So, whoa, alright, we just fucking fell all the way down. What's this? Can of beans. And that is... That's a grew. Stay out of the dark, or you're likely to be eaten by Gru. Now this, this is a puzzle you might not see immediately why, after all, nothing bad happened there. But actually, if we touch them, that happens. The, uh, blue magnetism, oh jeez, um, along with the, uh, pushing from these. Yeah, it's a little complicated to avoid sometimes. And so if we touch any of these little robots, we're kinda likely to die. So, glad we got through there. Awesome. Punch. Okay, that was that was the wrong move. I did something wrong there. Turn it blue. <laughs> okay. Well, we killed it, but... But whatever. Yeah, so that's how magnetism works. It's pretty cool. Um, and yeah. And stuff. And things. Yeah, so you can make cool rides like that. 
I honestly, I just love playing this game to just sort of fuck around and see, like, because with some of the later powers, it, it gets kind of ridiculous, the stuff you can do. Oh, I killed myself. A little hard to avoid when you can't see it. So yeah, like, just that. It's like, I touched it so I can, like, ride across the ceiling. I don't know. I really like that mechanic. And gotta get there before we run out of juice. Okay. Actually, now that we've got a cross, we should probably activate this. So now we now we can use that to get around. This though, we just sort of ride. I think there's something up there you can get, but I don't know where it is. And wow, we're already to the uh, first boss. Well, okay, great. This is the first boss. Wait, opposite subtract? That's not right. Basically, what you gotta do is, uh, make him eat things. Just make boxes, uh, blue, so he sucks them up and eats them. Not terribly complicated, but. He'll get mad at you, I guess, because he's so full or something like that. That's how it. Uh, that's how it works. And he does this, which I actually I forgot about that part. I thought he did something else. And the whole thing's on a bloody conveyor belt, so that makes everything so much better. And I think you gotta get him to eat nine boxes in total. So now we gotta avoid the fire. Which we did just barely. And then he smashes it and it goes fast. Just to screw me over. And more boxes appear. Alright. That is the basics of this boss down. I don't need to explain it to you anymore. So I hope you can keep up as I die several dozen times. Unnecessarily. Because he's actually kind of frustrating to fight. The ground always moving just really throws me off. Alright, fire again, don't forget. But you also can't run into the electricity. So you've got like this tiny space on the side. Alright, almost there. We're getting there. The treadmill's significantly faster, though. I think it actually sped up the second time, too. And I just didn't really notice. Okay, gotta get here. Or he just dies, just die. Oh, he just died, awesome. Cool, so that's the uh, first boss. And also, the first episode. So, especially because something important happens here, I will be seeing you guys next time in Teslagrad.